Bangladesh Army has placed an order for 400 km range SY-400 short-range ballistic missiles from China, which is a ground-launched CM-400 AKG variant, that poses a new threat vector to key Indian cities including Kolkata Guwahati and Siliguri. Pakistan has issued a naval navigational warning for a firing exercise in the same area, where India has reserved airspace for its ongoing tri-services drills from 2nd to 5th November. Their zones geographically overlap, raising concerns that any lack of coordination between the two sides could lead to operational misunderstandings. India has issued a NOTAM for a major Indian Air Force exercise, covering the entire northeastern region bordering China, Bhutan, Myanmar and Bangladesh. The Indian Army conducted exercise Vayu Saman V2 in the Thar Desert, showcasing integrated drone and counter-drone operations to enhance battlefield synergy across domains. The Philippine Army plans to acquire two BrahMos missile batteries from India by mid-2026, expanding on the Philippines Marine Corps' successful deployment. Bangalore-based Axis Caves has signed MOU with France-based Silas, to jointly promote the Helmapi laser weapon to the Indian Armed Forces. It offers an effective engagement range of up to 1 km for neutralization, and can cause optical damage at distances of 3 km, making it a compact and precise counter UAV solution. Astra Microwave's joint venture with Israel's Rafael Astra Rafael Comsis Private Limited has bagged a 285.56 crore rupees defense order from the Ministry of Defense for supplying advanced communication systems to the Indian Air Force's Garud Special Forces. The data from Stockholm International Peace Research Institute shows that all 200 meter beyond visual range air to air missiles were supplied to India under the 59,000 crore rupees Rafale deal that are confirmed to be fully operational with the Indian Air Force. The 200-meter missiles were delivered between 2020 and 2022 along with scalp and hammer, that completes Rafale's full weapons package. Dassault Aviation and MBDA documentation also confirm full integration of meter missiles by 2025, with stockpiles positioned at Ambala and Hasimara Air Base. Latest reports indicate that parallel research and development is already underway on the 10,000 km range K7 and 12,000 km plus K8 next-generation submarine-launched ballistic missiles. These next-generation MIRF-capable SLBMs will incorporate hypersonic glide vehicles and advanced decoy penetration aids to overcome emerging anti-ballistic missile shields, effectively transforming India's nuclear triad into a credible full-spectrum deterrent force. The Indian Navy will integrate the naval variant of M2 interceptor of DRDO's project Kusa on INSV grant, that will feature 48 vertical launch cells, that will form a 360 degrees area defense shield against stealth aircraft hypersonic threats and anti-ship ballistic missiles. The M2 interceptor naval trials are scheduled for 2027, with full certification by 2029 led by Bharat Electronics Limited. Larsen and Tubro and Bharat Electronics Limited Consortium has outlined a detailed roadmap for the AMCA program, that includes a contract toward by early 2027, with the first prototype flight targeted for 2028 to 2029, and full-scale production around 2033 to 2034. While Larsen and Tubro will lead airframe and stealth integration, Bharat Electronics Limited will develop the avionics and electronic warfare systems. Today's top three comments.